guys, it's Amy. Today I have a highly requested video and it is the wear and tear and also just updated review of my TWICE Louis Vuitton TWICE or Louis Vuitton Twin Set. As you can see, I have it in the full leather version. This is the Empreinte leather. And do I still love it? Yes, absolutely. And I'm not just saying that very lightly because I know sometimes you guys might think that we just say we love everything. I truly love this bag. So this is a one year wear and tear review. I did get mine in February, March last year. So it has been a year. Um, I inspected the bag prior to filming and I honestly cannot see any wear and tear. I literally looked at all the corners, looked at the whole leather in general. I looked at all the hardware. There's really nothing super noticeable. Basically, I cannot find any flaws with this bag despite having it for a whole year. Yes, it is a little dusty because, you know, the dust can collect in between here. Um, you know, the inside, because it's a microfiber lining, lining, it does, you know, attract, you know, white spots like that. And, uh, you know, there's a bit of dust in the inside at the very bottom and as well as the middle compartment, you will see that there's just, you know, some collection of dust and I even have like, I have like a mark here, but at first I thought I maybe scratched it and exposed the leather. I don't even know what it is. I'm suspecting <laughs> that it's uh, maybe just like a drop of ice cream, maybe not even a drop, it was like, um, uh, you know, just a little bit of ice cream that got on it and dried. Very minor, superficial scratches on the hardware there. There's almost none, like honestly, sometimes when I see new stock at the Louis Vuitton boutique uh, or like maybe the display models, they sometimes have more scratches than this. So I seriously cannot complain about how well it has worn. Now, if you guys purchase from me or if you guys just know me in general, I am very careful with my items. I don't necessarily, you know, super worry or super baby my items, but I'm very careful and I, you know, make a point not to try to knock it around or try to avoid people and bump into things. I take care of my bags really well. So, you know, like that could be one reason, but I just think that this leather is so hard wearing. I mean, I would have no problems wearing this to traveling and going to you know crowded places uh, as far as the leather the actual imprint it doesn't look like it's fading or that it's you know becoming more shallow it still looks really really pretty even from far i mentioned at the very beginning on uh, during my first impression that uh some of the like fraying of the edges like the very beginning of the zipper where it's just the fabric part. I mean, it kind of bothered me at the beginning when I first unboxed it and when I first uh, reviewed it because that's the first thing or that's one of the things that I noticed. But honestly, after using it and when you're using it, you really cannot tell and you really just don't even think about it. The stitching, everything is beautiful. There's no cracking. As far as the stretching of the leather, I think maybe it did expand a little bit because you can tell from the leather softening on the edges a little bit i don't know if you can see it slouches a little bit but i wouldn't say that it expanded to the point where you feel like it's an old bag i still feel like when you look at it that it looks like a new bag or in a very very good very excellent condition used bag because of the opening of the front pocket, it's just the easiest for me to access my wallet since the wallet pretty much takes up the entire length of the bag as opposed to having to avoid the zipper teeth because you can put it in the back. You just have to put it at an angle first and then you can slide it in. Then, you know, it still fits really comfortably. In fact, I think there's probably a little bit more room to accommodate a slightly longer or bulkier wallet in the back. But you just have to be more careful, I suppose. As far as the button closure, I mentioned in the past in my first video that um, it was really hard to open. It no longer is the case. It's not easy to open by any means, but it has loosened up. So I can't remember which way now because I actually don't even close it. So there you go. I... Um, 
depending on how your button is stamped in, I think, uh, there is one side that will allow you to open it easier. So if I try to open from this side, it doesn't open as easily. But if I go from this side, it opens easily. So I leave it un unsnapped just because it's easy to access my phone this way. Um, the middle compartment. I use it not for my phone because I feel like the stitching uh, that is here and here that holds the two pockets together. I fear that if I pull this too much or if whatever I put inside here is too bulky that it will, you know, sort of pull the leather around the stitching and cause damage. Uh, so I don't put anything that is um, very thick in there. I think the probably the most I would go is for a card holder like this, which will fit very nicely. Now, <clears throat> also keep in mind, <clears throat> sorry for my throat, my gosh, I can't talk. <clears throat> so also keep in mind that right now my bag is completely empty on both sides. So it just feels like, how can you not fit your phone in there, right? You can. Like I'm saying, you can, but it's just once both sides is completely full of stuff, then the middle compartment becomes just like a stiffer compartment for you to use. So I like to use it for, say, my bus pass or <clears throat> receipts or just, you know, if you had like money that you wanted to hide temporarily or very quickly you just finish with the cash register and you just want to put everything somewhere, this is... Uh, the nicest compartment to use for that. This compartment is a little bit wider and it's a little bit thicker So I do like to put bulkier things in here and I find that it's perfect for my camera, my keys, my card case um, Just basically any knickknacks that you know is slightly bulkier and of course I said wallet you can also put in there and I feel like it is a larger compartment so I know one of you asked me that you don't have the Emily, that your wallet is actually a little wider than this. So if your wallet was actually wider than the Emily or bulkier than the Emily, it may still fit in the back because you do have a little bit more. But like I said, it's because of the teeth that I don't use the back compartment for my wallet because I don't want to have to be too mindful about, you know, trying to fit it in an angle and then push it in. That kind of just defeats the purpose of a practical bag. If you do have a larger wallet, do consider trying it in the back if you don't access your wallet very often. This bag, seriously, is one of my most comfortable bag because it cannot really get that much more heavy since you can't really fit more than what it allows. Um, and the on-point leather is just so buttery, but it's strong, like it's a really good leather. I just love it. It feels very comfortable on my shoulder. Um, it's my grab and go. Whenever I don't know which bag to use, this is the bag that I reach for. An Emily wallet, button facing out, and you'll see why. So basically, try to do that. And I like to put my phone here too because I just like, like I said, easy access thing. So my phone is like, right behind the wallet and it's perfect i can still fit more things in fact in the summer i have my glasses on top of it without a case because the microfiber lining is kind of just like the case i have my camera let's put it in the back here i have both my wallet and my keys which is kind of thin enough would be probably around the same width as my usual camera. This is just my uh, old camera. So you can see there's still space here. So I'm doing the exact same configuration, phone behind and then the mini pochette here. But I have easy access of my lip balm and all the little things that I might need. I really feel like this bag and this design, this material Everything about this bag is just so great and superb. Great size, not too big, not too small. Super comfortable, doesn't get in your way. Uh, can be as slim or as thick as you want. This is the thickness of it. 
I want to point out the fact that it does rain here in Vancouver often and I'm not worried or not um, scared at all to wear this in the rain I've had and all I do is just once I get indoor or once I get inside my car use a tissue and adapt the water and that's it super easy to maintain don't worry about stretching out the leather I know that some of you are worried about it I seriously wouldn't I feel like this is a bag that is really like some bags you want to be careful and want it to look perfectly new and shiny and all that like I feel that way with my Chanel mini sometimes but some bags you just want to use and it's meant to be used more and I feel like this is one of them I feel like this bag I just want to use it and I'm not afraid to use it so quickly the dimensions are nine inches across six and a half uh, in height and the strap drop at the shortest setting is 20 inches and the longest setting is 22 and a half inches strap drop and what I mean by strap drop is like from the middle of the bag here all the way to the top over here and like I mentioned mine only has five settings I think the new ones have seven so it's possible that it's a slight difference uh, now but um, the shortest setting which is 20 inches works really really well for me and as a comparison not really a comparison because I already did a comparison video of these two bags um, which I will link down below if you're interested to watch uh, so one of you asked me about uh, you know com comparing the two or knowing the I guess main differences between the two um, they have I guess similar type compartments which I love they have similar style look I guess the main main difference is that comfort wise this is way more comfortable I love the strap on this with the Bochette Mitsis I don't find the strap to be that comfortable and um, because it is also a larger capacity bag I mean it it does fit way more in this bag um, it can be weighty and then uh, with a tougher harder strap it can hurt your shoulders mine anyway with this one the strap cannot be detached whereas this one you can so if you really wanted to you can hold it by the little handle and you know get away with evening wear uh, this one has the very classic monogram Louis Vuitton look and the patina I love the patina on my bag I, I seriously cannot get over it um, whereas this one doesn't patina which is very very weatherproof this one is still good because the amount of patina is not so much and mine is has this nice golden color that I'm not super afraid but I wouldn't you know want to take it out in pouring rain for sure because I still want to protect the leather um, yeah like in terms of easy ease of access this one is super easy to access as well I mean you open it and you have all the compartments they're really the compartments in this bag is really just very well thought I like that both have the microfiber lining because to me that material acts as you know like whatever is inside cases so basically I'm not afraid to put my camera in there because I know the camera lens and the body of the camera is sort of protected by the microfiber I'm also not afraid to put my sunglasses in there without any pouches I don't know if you notice or you probably know by now that I do have the original version so you can see it's kind of tough and then also it just doesn't quite open as wide as the new versions uh, which is quite flexible and that's also nice about the new version too so that's really the main difference for me uh, of the two now if I can think of the new version or just pretend this is the new version then I would say pretty much all the same things except that it will maybe even fit way more it will just want to accommodate more and just things that are bulkier will just fit in there a little bit easier and it will just have like a nicer time trying to close the flap and stuff like that so just that's just how I, I look at it uh, obviously I don't have it but just from watching everyone's video on it uh, so those are my thoughts about the two I I mean I I like both bags they're basically my top five like I mentioned in my video so I hope you guys found this video helpful and I totally 
uh, cannot recommend this bag any more than I already do. Um, so yeah, hopefully you will find the perfect one for you. I love the fact that mine is in black. I don't worry about any dirt or anything. Even the, the little pink spot here, it just turns out it's just dirt that I can wipe away. Um, but for the purpose of this, of this video, I didn't clean it before I showed it to you. So yeah, that's it and I hope that it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the request. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye!